This haul is probably one of my best high street hauls that I've done so far. If you're just someone that likes wearing tailoring and that polished corporate look, which I love by the way, this video is for you. Go on TikTok, meet me over there, and you've already would have seen this. Hi everyone, I have got such a good video for you. Honestly, it's such a good styling video. Um I wasn't, I was gonna get changed because it's really hot today and I'm a bit hot in this, all this knitwear and, but do I look like, I'll put up the full cutaway here, but do I look like a mum that's going to like parents evening? I think this is such a good look for that and I know I'm crazy, I know, but I'll get into the haul first, but you're gonna, I wasn't gonna, I shouldn't really tell you things like this, but this is my thought process of this haul today. I do, do not work in an office. These are all outfits for me, obviously, that I'm gonna wear all the time. But if you do work in an office, or you do have more of a formal or casual formal or casual corporate or corporate role, or you're just someone that likes wearing tailoring and that polished corporate look, which I love, by the way, this, this video is for you. And if this video is for everyone, because I'm a very tomboy, I'm very casual and I just wanted to have a few classic pieces in my wardrobe and I'll tell you why later, <laughs> it's hilarious. And I wanted to just have a little bit of smart casual in my wardrobe and I'm obsessed with Celine but this is not Celine prices. This video could not get any better. Um, I have a Chanel unboxing, it's a good video so let's get into it. Okay so um, this haul is probably one of my best high street hauls that I've done so far. There's been some really particular things that I've been on the hunt for. The first is this iconic nautical Celine cardigan. Now I love the Celine cardigans and, and the jackets and the blazers. And if you've bought one, amazing. You're gonna have that forever. I love it. I might bite the bullet one day. But I'm being very, very responsible at the mo moment. I've always said that I can spend a little bit more freely when I don't have children, I'm not paying for school fees, but I'm now at that time where school fees are my priority and you know we're renovating. I People don't think I'm responsible, but I am. So as much as I would love to go and buy this Celine jacket, at the end of the day, it's a stripy, quite luxury, which is really going in our favour at the moment. I can find that elsewhere, but then I'm very picky with the fabric. So that was a bit of a challenge and I found it. So this is a haul from a new brand that I've discovered, Goelia. So I do have a discount code, I will put that on the screen here. I think the discount code is 25% off, but I need to check this because that is a huge discount, no one gives me that much. Um, but the discount will be here, always discount codes, size references, they're always in the description box below of everything that I feature. So this is an amazing haul. This is how I discovered that brand, through this jacket, and I thought, great, I'm going to get this. And then they had some amazing black trousers, which I'm wearing now, and I'll put in the cutaway. Um, but I actually was looking for some baggy, tailored, oversized trousers, and I've been looking for a pair of these for a while. Everybody's wearing them, it's nothing new, but I found it hard to find ones that were like high-waisted, tailored, I wanted pockets, I wanted nice fabric, like it's quite hard to find something classic that fits amazing. And the reason why I love these ones, I'm not wearing them now, I'm wearing the fitted ones. I love them, let me show you, they're here. I actually love the belt that it comes with and normally my top tip for when shopping for lower end pieces, high street pieces, if it ever comes with a belt, the best thing you can do is put it with one of your own belts. Like, you know, maybe you want your Hermes your Hermes belt, maybe you just want a plain, nice Italian leather one and it will completely elevate it. I actually like this belt because I love when the accessories, the buttons, the belts are the same fabric and it's a really petite, beautiful size. The smaller the belt, the more flattering it is. And I really, really like it. So I'm definitely gonna keep that one close. The blazer, I'll show you an example. I didn't like that belt as much, but then I styled it with one of my own belts and it was perfection. It looks it literally looks like an Italian wool blazer or something. It's great, everything in this haul is great. So these are the trousers, they are perfection. I love the fabric, everything is in the right cut, like the placement of the pockets, the pockets at the front. You see the way that they've done 
everything at the front they're beautiful i highly recommend these just for weekend attire with a thin cashmere knit a like nautical cardigan like this a white tee and a belt some trainers you will live in these and obviously if you're in a corporate role brilliant pair of classic black trousers and then we have the more fitted ones the split hem wow that really has been dragging out but it's still going strong um, and i've always liked the split hem even before it became a thing I just think it's very flattering. Um, and you know what I need to show? I need to show you what I've got from Chanel. I know impromptu unboxing, but I'm wearing it in the cutaway. So you can follow me on Twitter, not Twitter. I've been on Twitter for years. TikTok, you'd have already seen these. So yes, I am now a TikTok, tick, tick, TikTok, TikTok star in the making. Don't you see them yet? So I don't have many followers on there, so please do go and follow. I actually am loving TikTok. It's a lot more casual way my braces come undone. So if you think I'm speaking a bit funny, that's why. I love the casualness with it. I feel like in YouTube I speak a lot and I love YouTube. I love like how it's literally, I know it's a one way conversation, but I love the talking. And then TikTok is like that, but a short version. So if you like my videos, but you can't sit here for half an hour, which I understand, go on TikTok, meet me over there and you've already would have seen this. So. This, I've already worn them to death, so I actually have lots of these back in the day, but mine are all 38 and 38 and a half, and I just won't get rid of these ones, because Paris bought me them for the wedding. They're too sentimental, but they do not fit me. Um, so I just bought some black ones of these, and this is the kind of vibe that I'm going for, like a simple, classic knitwear, tailored trousers, like on the weekend I want to wear like a nice baggy tailored trouser, um, a t-shirt, some belly pumps and trainers, so still mum friendly, casual friendly. I am just sick to death of joggers. I, I love track suits, but sometimes it can make your mood. Do you know what I mean? If you wear track suits all the time, it, it, it can make you feel a bit lethargic. Um, as much as I'm a tracksuit girl, love, 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 and I'm always going to love track suits. Even I'm getting a bit bored of the whole tracksuit thing. So if you're the same, Definitely invest in a pair of black oversized trousers, tailored trousers. I have them in grey and I have them in the black that you've seen. And I have found the perfect cream pair. I feel like I'm talking too much. These are the one. So they've got the elasticated uh, waistband at the back, which is a must for me because otherwise I'm just not going to wear them on holiday. I'm not going to wear them at the weekend. They're too tailored for me. It's a perfect cream colour, not as perfect as my Rousseau one, but I can't wait to wear these together. These are ever a slightly different tone, but I know how hard it is to get this kind of, of a cream tone. So it's amazing. It's not too yellow. It's not too white. Um, lovely waistband. I love them. I love a cream look. I'll give you some inspiration here. A cream look with a tan bag. Just so classic. These are all such classic, amazing pieces. So these, these and the black trousers are one of my favourites just because of how much I've been trying to, how long I've been trying to find something like this. And it was a bonus that I had them in, in cream as well. I wish they did them in grey and navy. And this is one of my favourites because it's literally so similar. To the Celine one so you know I'm always honest with you when it comes to fabrics I'm, I'm very very into my fabric composition this is a dupe it's not going to be the Celine prices and it's not going to be the Celine quality however the reason why I'm very hesitant to buy Celine is there was one cardigan that I went straight in to buy I've seen it online it was so itchy so you don't even get that much amazing feel when you're spending thousands of pounds that's why I'm so hesitant so everything here this is, I think, 80% wool and 20% 20, 20 polyamide. So polyamide is one of the better fabrics. It's the polyester, which is a no-no. Polyamide, I, I really don't mind. So this is 20% polyamide. Another absolute favourite of mine is this cream cashmere hoodie. I think I'm going to get another one of these because the, um, the price is really good. And I'm even going to use this discount code myself. So when I met Paris, like 12 years ago, he had this exact hoodie in grey. And I accidentally shrunk it and it became mine. Then I shrunk it again and it became my mum's. I think my mum shrunk it, not me. And um, so I'm good at, at knitwear, at washing knitwear. And do you know, I've never been able to find another one. Just a classic, not too thick because otherwise, like my cape one I've got here. Oh, that's what I got from Mother's Day. I'm gonna show you that in a minute. Um, oh, I love my cape ones, don't get me wrong, but 
Sometimes they are too thick, like you can literally only wear these in the winter or autumn. They're too thick to wear all year round, whereas something like this I can wear. So too thick and you feel like it's a bit of a waste. Too thin and it's not good quality. This is an amazing classic cashmere knit. It's got hoodie, it's simple, it gives me everything that I've wanted since that grey hoodie from 12 years ago and it's lovely. It looks so good with absolutely everything here. Just a good hoodie. It's surprising how hard it is to find a plain, like even crew neck cashmere jumper. I'm struggling. They've got like random shapes, but that's one thing off my list and you get that amazing discount as well. Now, I'll, I'll tell you about what happened and what started this shopping haul. So, as you know, I mean, I'm sorry if it gets on everyone's nerves, but I have a son. I only have one son and he is literally my be all and my end all. Is that, does that, is that even say that right? He's my everything. So when he had his school interview, I was like thinking, what do you, what do you wear? And I wanted to be myself, obviously, but I just didn't, tracksuit, no, like the embarrassing mum, like no. Um, and obviously I wanted to be myself, but I did want to be like a little bit smart. And I literally, I've never pulled my wardrobe apart so much as that day when I went for the school interview, because it was very last minute for me. And I ended up, it was so hot, and I ended up wearing a thick wool coat in a panic and sat there with it on the whole entire time because I was just wearing a black t-shirt underneath and um, I wore jeans and loafers and I just thought, no, like I want to have, I know this is pathetic, but I really wanted like some mum, nice mum outfits, but like nice and like things that you could wear in the day, or even just in the day when I'm in that mood. Like sometimes when it's a Saturday and we're going out for lunch, I don't know what's happened to my wardrobe, but it's literally gone jeans and a t-shirt or tracksuit and I've just kind of lost I still love the oversized blazer and everything, but I think even I'm getting a bit sick of it. I still love it and I'm very much still wearing it and buying it, but I kind of lost this kind of vibe. So I'm so happy with this haul. They need to come off there because it's bad luck. Um, right, now the last two bits that I'm going to show you is, are these suits. They are tweed, tweed tailored shorts twin sets. Amazing, never seen anything like this anywhere. So I, for my, we've all got body parts that we prefer and body parts that we do not prefer. Mine is like the middle area, I do not like it. And if I'm going to accentuate anything, it will be my legs. They're not as great as they used to be. So these are perfect for me. If you're someone like me that would rather focus on the legs than the tummy area, you need to invest in shorts and short suits, but they're very hard to find. So this is the first one and they're like elastic at the back. So I just thought, oh no, they're high waisted. They're going to be, they're going to be a bit um, like uncomfortable for me. I'm not gonna wear them that much. This and the hoodie, amazing. Like I would actually wear that all the time. This is like a beautiful, delicate herringbone, like um, wall print. Can you see that? Like a delicate herringbone. I love it. The belt with this, I don't even know where it is. It's not, it's not my vibe, but you'll see in the cutaway that I wore it with my taupe Hermes belt. It looked so elevated, so beautiful. It's masculine. Like, this is kind of like a typical old-fashioned men's vibe. And then with the cute little shorts. How beautiful is that for like a tweed, tweed short, short suit? It's so me. I've not had anything like this before. It just looked so good. It does look a bit, feels like a bit like English countryside. Cotswolds, we are not doing old money here. It's not what we're doing on my channel. You're never going to see that, but it's nice. It's nice, like people don't like, we can all still wear tweed and wear it in our young way, but I just love it. It feels very countryside, but I would wear this in the city with like my hoodie. I loved it. It's just something I don't have in my wardrobe. And um, I don't know, like saying, I don't want to like name where I would wear it, but because when I go to the country pubs, I'm quite casual anyway, and I'll only go for like a roast dinner, I'm not there like on a Friday night, but I feel like I've got my backups now, and they're really amazing, unusual pieces, they feel really nice to wear, and the prices are amazing, and I have that discount code. Um, I love the suit, so I've got two of them, they're so flattering, I'll put up a picture, I've already worn one of them, and where are the shorts, here are the shorts. I actually had the um, these on the wrong way round and they looked really, really nice. That's the front. 
but I had them on the wrong way around. They actually look really nice with that being the back, but they're so comfy. They look so nice with like the cashmere hoodie. Um, and then that's the top. But don't you think, it's just so beautiful. Everything is um, quite unique and the prices are great. So new discovery for me, um, Goyella. Discount, size references. Don't worry, I put all the links in the description box with a size reference because definitely need to know size references with this one. Now, what else do I need to tell you? We just come back from France, actually. We started, not physically the renovations, but we found our builder. I really wanted this for Saint-Tropez. Like, how Saint-Tropez with a pair of white jeans? Or oh, I love, my, they're here, actually. Um, I live in these. They're vintage, so old. They used to hang off me, but now they're, they're not quite boyfriends where I'm getting bigger in my older age, but not old, older, I said. I love them, they're this washed out, old vintage 501s, men's ones, and this for me, like, on holiday, with the nautical jumper, a pair of um, pumps if I'm in the city, or maybe like a pair of tan ship rolls, which I do not have, with this, what a lovely look, like, I, I'm so happy with this jumper, um, with my ruse line, like, there's endless ways, little knitted dress with it open, I'm so happy with it, you've got to get this, and and the black trousers, and the cream trousers, and the cashmere top, and the twin set shorts. Everything's amazing. So, yes, going through uh, France. So I'm gonna pop a few pictures of the vibe. I'm sorry that you, like, just in case you thought this was gonna be like renovation. I think we're gonna do it in phases, starting with the pool. And my vibe for the pool is going to be Hamptons slash Provence. And I've always said that I love the way the Americans, it's quite insulting, I know it's French people, but I love the way Americans do that French vibe. And I know it's not true French, but that's just what I like. And I'm, I'm like, Paris likes it as well, because I told you, he, he couldn't care less if I painted the whole, whole house pink with pink sun loungers. Where I'm getting my sun loungers from, they spray them any colour. I was so tempted to do pink and like Hollywood, old Hollywood vibe and Paris was like completely up for it. So I think I might get two for the balcony, the balcony that we haven't made yet, that does not exist yet. Um, but I can't wait to show you. I've got them on order. They should be arriving in France in a couple of weeks. But yes, the port, I put up some inspiration. It's going to be, it's all quite like uh, paved at the moment. We're going to remove the paving just because when the babies and kids are running around, it's so slippery for them. I'd rather them fall on the grass. And the hay fever's not as bad there for me. So it's gonna be Hampton's vibe, with like a beautiful white picket fence. Um, and then everything else is about the styling and the pool house, which you're gonna to have to wait for. Don't forget to follow me on Claire Chanel Home. Then we're adding like some balconies. Can you help me out? I don't know whether to go for this like cream and beige shutters with black iron doors and a black front door, which I love, I really, really love. There's a chateau online. I'll try to find it and put up a picture here. I love this look and I love the black iron because it makes it very different from our traditional English countryside house with like, we've got the white arch windows. I don't want to repeat it there. So black iron doors is like the way to go and inside it's gonna be very zen, relaxing, simple, not quite minimal, because I'm not a minimal person. But that's the rough idea. And I feel like if I go for this, which is the Provence baby blue, which I know is so me, I just feel like I'm gonna end up going down the same route as how it is here and it's just gonna be the same house. Because if I have baby blue shutters and that whole Provence look, I'm then going to go for the same white doors. So let me know what you think, but bear that in mind. So I think I'm going for like the black iron and everything like that. Um, this is what I got for Mother's Day. I've actually had it for ages. If I just knotted that, I have, haven't I? Uh, so Paris got this made for me in Dubai. And like, as you know, being a mummy is like, oh, I've had this for like two months and I've been re I haven't knotted it once and look what's happened. Um, but it's a mother of pearl. Um, mummy necklace and I had that made it was from we walked past some more and they had um, like Arabic names and I said oh can you do my name but then I wanted mummy because mummy's nicer than Claire um, oh, I can't believe I've done that so that's what I got for Mother's Day by the time this haul comes out I'm hoping that the Paris gifts has arrived so I just wanted to share what I bought for his birthday so we went to our house in France and then what did we do we went to a spa for his birthday then I gave him his present, which I got him the ultra 
iPhone watch. He loves it because he goes diving, so he's actually going to use that. I got him the Ultra watch. I got him these new balances. I'll link them below. They're his favourite trainers I've ever bought him, apparently. And what else did I buy him? Oh, I'm not going to say because it's not arrived yet and Paris needs to edit this. But I'll put in the clip here. It's something I've wanted for so long. And... Um, I got one for me and I got one for him Him and I matching and it's just the perfect thing that for like a significant birthday to keep forever and like pass down to Honoré and we travel a lot so um, yes I got him that as well. So that's what I got him for his birthday, that's how it's going with the French house and all the renovations. I really hope you love this haul, everything will be linked below. I'm so upset that I've knotted this, I've literally just taken it off, I was doing my fake tan that's why there's all fake tan at the wall, but um, should I quickly show you it? Because it's amazing. I'm going to have to get a photo of the other thing, because I've lost that. But this is the new Beauty Pie Tanning Mist. So last year I started using their bronzer, and like you can see, I'm all bronzed and sun-kissed. It's amazing. I haven't been well lately. I haven't been well since January. And I've been so dull and so drained, and I can't bother with the makeup. And literally, I missed it. I'm literally looking at myself because I look so glowy. I look, actually look really nice for a change. And I just think the stripe, the black and white stripes are working for me. And this, I'm telling you, is amazing. They launched their bronze, this is not an ad. They launched their bronze mousse last year and I used it all summer and it's amazing because we're not gonna be in the sun and reverse all what we spent on our skin and the time and the effort, so. Um, I love that and then this year they've bought out this so their tanning products are amazing and I tell you why they're amazing not only they luxury skincare for less prices and there's a reason for that why they do lower prices is because they work directly with the labs so there's no middleman they order high volume so the prices are fantastic and then you can get a membership and you get them for like I'm not joking like 80% off what the normal price is um, I have a discount code Claire sent me it gives you a discount off your membership um, but self tanner for me, I can't wear it. My skin is so sensitive. Everything flares up on me, like all over my body. The face is a no-no, but I don't put my face in the sun. The other one worked on me, it was serum, but the mist is it's like, it's even nicer. The serum was amazing, but this you can just do a spritz and you're good to go. And the mist is so fine, you don't even need to blend it in. But I recommend self tanner from a skincare brand because then the ingredients are going to be totally amazing and you're, you're, it's like a skincare product but a tanner. So I recommend that even if you're not into the Beauty Pie one, definitely if you've got sensitive skin or even for any self tanner, get, it, get one from a skincare brand. I cannot recommend this enough. It's the only self tanner I can wear and I'm obsessed with Beauty Pie. I, like, I bought my own uh, membership. I buy everything from there. It's truly amazing. That's why I think I look quite nice today. I look really glowy. It's this. And then there's, it's downstairs, but there's like, um, it's not liquid, but it's like a bronzer. You know, like the Chanel one, because this is a dupe video after all. The Chanel one. I have that and I actually need to buy a new one. Uh, the last one that I had didn't last very long because it's very, um, it's, it's not deep, basically. This is basically like that. You know that, I'll put up a picture here. It's that, but it's so much more affordable. I actually think it's better, it blends better and it's not as dark. There are two different colours, mine's the lighter one, but the colour is just, it feels more natural. So this tanner and that, amazing. Get your nautical saline dupe and you're good to go. Um, so thank you so much for watching. Go and meet me over TikTok. Um, I really hope my TikTok takes off, honestly I do, because it's basically like this. I film it quick on the phone, I put it up. I've done styling videos, I've done like an Hermes Insider Secret, I've done a Come Shopping With Me, like this has been on like two weeks ago. So please, please go and meet me over there. And don't leave me at 600 followers, because I was, who am I going to be making videos for? So thank you so much for watching. Please do subscribe. I always wonder why people say give it the likes up, but, and I never say that, but I, I've found out five years later that it actually helps push your video out so please give me the thumbs up if you're still here listening to me and please do subscribe because it really does help support and allows me to do this so thank you so much and I'll see you in my next video. I found it, it's here. So you know what I mean now don't you like this Chanel one? This one is so good. That's it, you need to get it. I'll link it below. 
My nail polish is also beautified, by the way. I know you always ask, so I'll link that as well. Totally forgot to talk to you about this shirt. This is if you want to go really corporate. Am I all in here? It's at the end of the day, I'm a bit bloated. This is, I wanted to make sure that I included not just ca smart casual or casual corporate. This is a really beautiful shirt. This is just something good to have in the wardrobe. It's got a pleated detail on the sleeve. So it gives something a bit extra than just like a plain shirt. Sometimes even I feel a crisp white cotton shirt with black trousers. Sometimes, sometimes even for me, it can feel a bit masculine. So I just love how petite how petite this one feels. It's nice and fitted here. It's got a bit of a puff sleeve at the shoulder. It just sits really nice. It's a really nice, beautiful cut and I do love the pleat sleeves. Um, it's just really elegant and really feminine. So definitely wanted to include that and I personally really love these with the, the slightly baggy tailored, tailored trousers. So that's how I've styled them here and I'll link this one below as well. I need an office job now.